Welcome back. This is part two and let's keep going. First, let's add a cube to model magazine. In order to give a nice curve to the cube, I will add five loop cuts. When you look at the magazine from front side, it is still sticking out from the barrel, so press SY to scale down. I will add bevel modifier to the cube. If your bevel modifier didn't work properly, make sure rotation and scale are applied. This time the amount of bevel 0.002 is not enough so I will increase the value just a bit. Ok let's make a stock from now. Press shift A to add cylinder and this will be a connection part between stock and barrel. Select back side of connection and press I to inset. Now let's add cylinder to make a top part of stock. I will select lower half of vertices and press E to extrude. As I've done in previous video, I'm going to delete front and back side of faces to clean up topology later. When you look at the reference, since the edge of stock is a little bit spreading, I will extrude the mesh and press S to scale up.
Don't forget to flatten the faces with pressing S, Z, and 0. Now let's add single vertex to make a cutter. Adding single vertex is not in the ordinary setting in Blender, so make sure you turn on the free add-on that I explained in the very beginning of part 1. I'm going to use Bool tool to cut the stock. Don't forget to apply the scale and recalculate normals when you use Bool tool. Let's apply Boolean to add a little detail on it. I will use knife tool with pressing K to add vertices on the mesh. Pressing CK while using knife tool allows you to cut straight and you can also cut the backward by pressing Z. The bottom part of stock is too sharp, so I will add bevel to make a nice curved shape. I added a loop cut on the mesh that I extruded before to select the left part of faces. When you select the faces, press E and Z to move the faces downward. The faces located in the corner is still remaining, so press X to delete them. Some part of vertices are not merged so press A to select all and M key to merge by distance. I only model right side, so let's symmetrize in edit mode. Press F3 and type symmetrize.
Okay, next, modeling top rail. Let's add a cube, scale along x and z axis. I will add loop cut to scale it later. And don't forget to adjust the scale along Y axis as well. Let's scale the middle part. The ordinary scaling doesn't work properly this time, so press Alt S to fatten the object. Let's add a cube to cut the top part of rail. Now I'm going to use array modifier to duplicate the cube along x axis. Make sure both applying scale and recalculate normals are done before cutting the top rail. Press Ctrl minus to cut the object. I recognize small artifacts bottom part of cutter. This is because the edges between middle part of object and cutter is too close so I will move the cutter upwards. <laughs> 